Hello YouTube and whoever else and wherever else you're watching it. Now, you clicked on this video so you know and I want to see how to speed up your videos in Windows Movie Maker without them looking choppy. Now, I'm going to I'm here to show you how to do that. Now, first what you want to do is you want to take your video, which mine's right here. It's where it's me and Murray, which I don't really care. And you want to put it down here, which I have already done that. Now, after you put it down there, what you want to do is you want to right click is you want to click on the video part to get the sound down and then you want to mute it because I find that when you're doing fast stuff unless you are unless you're trying to make the sound go fast too it work is just for me it works better with the, if I take this sound out so you want to click mute unless you don't if you want the sound to be in then leave the mute and leave it sound in it but most of the time you're probably gonna want it muted and then you're gonna right click on the video you can get rid of that you can click the video again and then you're gonna right click on the video like this and then you're going to go to effects and then you're going to go all the way down to where it says speed up double and you're going to click that then you're going to click that about two or three times okay, I've already done it three times now if, we, now, if you, now, um, if you do I think like one or two you'll be able to see it without you'll be able to see what it looks like without being choppy in the Windows Movie Maker itself but it won't be as fast as you might want it this is just me cleaning my room, yeah that's not very fast Now, if we go over here and right click on it and add another one in, scroll down, speed up, double, do OK, and then play it. It'll look choppy, but it'll be faster. So you want it one, you want it two, or you want to click on it two or three times, and then what you do is you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click Publish to Computer. Click that, and then you're gonna name it whatever you want, and then you click Next. I like to keep it on best quality for playback from my computer. Now you're gonna put then you're gonna click publish. Now I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it. And then you're gonna go up to up to the top left corner where it says import media. You're gonna click on that. And then you're going to find where your video is, which it's right here. Which I already have it right there. So then wait, no, I'm done. I'm done probably. So then you can go ahead and delete this if you want. You don't have to, but it makes things easier. And then you're going to take this and you're going to drag it down here to where and then, and now and now this is already at, at 3. So then we can watch it. And it goes fast. Now, if you want it faster and you and this and this is the cool part because now and so the cool part about this is that if you go down to here and right click it and go to effects you can add another one which which on the original one it would be speed up times four and you can add it okay and if you play it oh look at that it also changes the time and it's a lot shorter so now you can push play and it'll be faster and it'll be really it'll be faster and it won't be as choppy it'll still be a tiny bit choppy but not enough to where it'll be hard for you to see it and you can also watch between my room. We don't want to watch that. And so, but if you go down and do another one, I think if you add either one or two more, then it'll be really choppy. So you have to publish it again and do it all over and do all that and everything, which isn't really that big of a deal. It's pretty choppy. It's not as choppy. All right, and not, I mean it's more. It's pretty choppy. And so, um, if you, so, then I'll get, so if you want to get rid of it, go to computer, publish, do all that. So, and I'm pretty sure that I haven't tried it for slow motion, but I'm I'm pretty sure it works for slow motion. So yeah, and this is, so that's how you make the videos not as choppy in Windows Movie Maker. 